So well guys, uh, welcome to Isha Training Solutions. Uh, this is Kumar Gupta, a new day, a new video for you guys. Uh, this time around it's an interview question regarding the web services. So I'm trying to attempt to answer that. Um, uh, well, uh, regarding Isha, we offer trainings, anything, any performance testing tool, Neoload, uh, JMeter, Loadrunner, any protocol, uh, Microsoft VSTS, RPT, uh, any project supports, and we are implementing some projects for some big companies as well, PwC, Mindtree. So, uh, well, uh, uh, if you have any projects, uh, you can always contact me. I would be glad to, uh, you know, implement the projects. Uh, uh, well, coming back, okay, to to the question. This is this is uh, for uh, this is from one of the students who have enrolled uh, into my course on Udemy for web services. So, so this is what he was asking me. It's an interview question, okay. You see, uh, this is for the web services, obviously. Okay, restful. Uh, so you have developed an LR script for web services. In the future, you wanted to make use of the same script. Okay, the URL is same, but all the content of the web services is different, which means that the payload and the body is changing, I guess, because that's what would change because the URL is constant. The only other thing that would change is the payload. Okay, uh, the method will not change. The post will remain post and, uh, uh, you know, get will remain get. So it's just the payload uh, which is changing. That's what he meant, I believe. So is there a possible, without opening the region, you should not uh, go to the region, you should not open the region, but you should make sure uh, the same script works even though the body of that particular request is changing. So what is that you would do? Okay, without opening the region, you should still be able to handle the situation uh, wherein the payload is changing okay uh, the url is not changing without opening the region without making any changes to the script uh, you know you would have to make the script work for the new release or the new build okay so i'm trying to I, I thought a way so i would want to share that with you not sure if this is what the interviewer was actually looking out from the chandra uh, but this is what my take is probably you can watch the video and you can put it in the comments if this is what is right or wrong but i'll share uh, what 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 would i answer if the same question was asked to me okay so uh, for the demonstration of this so i'll use this application uh, which is there which is request.in okay so request.in and i will use this service which is the post request so i would want a post in the get you don't have a payload so in the post you would have a payload the first post request is the create and this is the payload or the input so this seems to be changing all the time okay so how would you create a script so that even though this is changing you you, you still need not have to go to the vgen to make the changes okay so let me create a script on the vgen first okay same web http html itself okay so let me say this one is interview question okay wonderful okay so you would use obviously you would use the web custom request okay so let me go to the example and copy the web custom request uh oh sorry there you go so copy this web custom request which is there Come back to your request okay so there you go so let's let's align this we don't need a target print here there you go so <clears throat> the request name you can give any name but let's give a meaningful name here it is create so let's give create user you can give any name honestly speaking and this is a post request so this is a post request and the URL so here is the URL you have to give the complete URL which is hitting the service so you need to consider this one as well Wonderful. okay so this is good and the body ideally you are supposed to pass this into this body but if this payload is changing in the future release you would have to come and change the script over here that's not what we want so as a workaround, what I will give here is instead of body, I will give a body file path. Okay, instead of body, I will give the body file path. And here, okay, here, what I will do is, okay, and then, and then uh, the body, whatever the body that you are there, I will create a file for this body. Okay, new, uh, okay, text file. 
or maybe uh, a notepad file, a text document. Why doesn't it open? Uh, so, um, hang on, guys. So, view, show desktops. Okay, it's opening here. Okay, so <coughs> copy that. Okay, so this is the body, this is the payload that you're passing. So, save as desktop. Okay, I'll give this as uh, what is that? Uh, uh, input data dot json or maybe data dot uh, this should be a json file okay so double quotes double quotes will make sure that the extension of this is not a dot txt but dot json so mm -hmm. save it okay so now you have a dot json file created okay so <clears throat> if you open just to check what are the contents of it right click on it and then maybe uh, open with or edit with notepad plus plus yeah you have this input data so wonderful guys so you have you have created this dot json file now let's import this dot json file here so in this extra files right click on it and you say add files to the script uh, go to the desktop I have this dot json file which I wanted to add it and I have added this okay and I have added this so if this is this is the first time you are adding a .json file to, to any of these scripts. So what I would suggest is go to the tools, go to the options, go to the scripting, script management. Here make sure the .json file is added. Okay, again I'm saying, telling you tools, options, scripting, script management. And here make sure the .json file is added so that my vision actually understands a .json file okay so here is a web custom request so this is the post this is just any name and this is the url uh, and then this is the body file path and here is the dot json file you can give this so data dot json so it will go to this file in this file you have this uh, the, the body that is supposed to be okay so it will take the body Okay, and uh, the couple of headers that you might have to add. So web add header. Okay, just to check what are the headers that you need to add. So content type. So uh, usually the developer or whoever it is will be giving this what are the headers that is required for your project. But for this particular services, you need these headers. Okay, so let me copy this. So the header is content type, copy, okay, and then application.json, okay, this is one header, okay, and the other header is uh, accept, okay, so let me add the other header as well, copy. And the value is also the key value is application JSON itself. So you can add these two headers. This <coughs> now let's go ahead and run it just to make sure that it's working. So before running, go to the runtime settings. So there is one thing that you need to change here. Yeah, go to preferences and here. Uh, okay, there's one setting that you have to change here. So I think this is a content check. Yeah preferences or maybe miscellaneous no additional attributes no oh, I think it's a preferences okay yeah use win inet replay instead of sockets make sure this is enabled otherwise your script will fail okay so that is enabled now let's go ahead and run it and one more thing before we run it make sure you go to the log and then you say uh, the data written by the server okay so that you would know you would know the response Okay, the script has passed and it, will, it has to create that user. So let's go ahead and see. You see the name Morpheus and the ID 15 has been created and this is the created date. So uh, the, 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 the user has been created with this Morpheus and the job is leader because that's, that's exactly what you have added Morpheus with the leader. So if I say the name is Kumar and then the job is trainer. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run it. You see the Kumar, the trainer with the ID 545 it is created on so and so date. Now coming back to the question, the interview question. So what was it is without opening the view gen, 
without opening the view chin you would have to make the changes to the body okay without opening the view chin so this can be nicely done here now i'm closing the view chin okay so uh, actually okay hang on one second so i wanted to see the location of that script okay uh, i just need to look at the location of the script as to where this uh, script is located okay uh, okay so if you if you go to the properties okay so this is where the question okay this is where the script is okay so <clears throat> now this is the location of the script okay so here is the location of the script i am not opening the script i am not opening the script so what i will do is i'll go to the data.json right click on it edit with notepad plus plus now you can change it to whatever you need or if this whole structure has changed or whatever is changed you can change it over here maybe i can say this as chandra okay so the job is performance tester so okay so now there you go okay so you have changed everything that is required wonderful okay now you can go ahead and run the view gen script without even you know making any changes to the widget okay so this is what my take on the question if some of you would want it to differ with me please let me know and if you have some better suggestions please let me know and uh, in case if you have tried somebody was asked this question in the interview and you have given this answer and if they are satisfied yeah please call me and let me know or you can just whatsapp me or leave a comment on the youtube thank you guys thank you for listening to this video and i will join with the next video maybe the next time around thank you